Hello, welcome to our behind the scenes about how we made our RoboCop costume. So if you're interested in cosplay and interested in paper craft, stay tuned because you got a lot of learning to do. Shut his fucking dick off! <laughs> this is a follow-up to our 2013 RoboCop videos where we shot a bunch of footage of our awesome costume at a couple of conventions last summer and we also did a shot-for-shot -shot reenactment scene from the original RoboCop right here so if you haven't seen those videos be sure to check them out now. After we released them a lot of people asked us how we made this crazy costume and if you have these sorts of questions well then this is the video for you! Yeah! Side note! I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about all the other cardboard projects that we've worked on. Uh, we've done a lot of Halloween costumes together, and a lot of them utilize cardboard. It's cheap, and you can take it to a party and kind of fuck it up and it doesn't matter, you know, because it's like stupid cardboard, because we like to party at Halloween. One of the awesome things we did was Dazzler and Spartan from Wildcats, but a lot of his pouches and stuff were all cardboardy and weird, and it was super ghetto. He put it together like that night. Another one we did that was really fun was Tank Girl and Tank. That was really cute. I really enjoyed that one a lot. And then we did our Ripley and Power Loader costume, which was highly successful. And had this cool plasma rifle made out of cardboard. And we didn't, like, it, we kind of just did it on the fly and it really worked out. Uh, and it's like, it looks so good in photos. And we thought to ourselves, that's such a good process that we should just expand that idea out. And then we just took it to like a fucking 11 and went crazy and kind of like got <laughs> like in over our heads a little bit. Okay, here's the final piece. You need to apply that. Okay. Alright, so I already glued down half of it. You want to glue it all down at once. You want to glue it little by little by little. So now I'm going to start on this side. And we all know I've been doing all of it. Is that right? You ever burned yourself doing this? I burned myself so much that my fingers don't even hurt when they're burned anymore. The whole costume started with tracing Combo Girl 19's body to make sure that we had the proportions right to begin with. You don't want to do all this work and then find out in the end that your proportions were mismatched. If you do that, then your design fails as a whole and you just wasted all your time. So after figuring out our technique with the cardboard, we broke it down into individual pieces that we each did. Semblance of a Robocop arm, beginning of one anyways. Since we're both pretty good artists, once we learn the technique of bending and altering the cardboard, you can come up with some pretty good ideas how to make the challenging parts. One starting point is the fact that you gotta learn how to manipulate cardboard and bend it right or you're not gonna be able to get anywhere. So that takes a little bit of muscle memory and you just gotta figure it out. We started with the chess piece, which was an easy, good place to start because we had something to go off of in real life, which would be like shoulder pads for hockey. We looked at how those went together and we just modeled that out of cardboard. Your waist looks actually looks really good. Once that was made, we got more confident to move on to some more complicated parts. I had a really good idea for the gun to have the bullets spin around and they have this very comic bookish looking effect. 19 came up with a really good idea how to make the stomach bands, which are supposed to look like gears. Uh, I made it. One tip is to make a lot of templates first before you use the card. What are you doing there? Huh? Blowing. Blowing? Talking about Republican National Convention? Huh? Bullshit policy. We made a lot of templates out of tracing paper first to make a temporary piece instead of cutting cardboard. You don't want to start with the cardboard because it's a lot of work, it's a lot of effort to cut it and bend it. Make a piece out of paper first instead, and then you can trim that on the fly, get it down to the right size, then go back, use that to trace it, and then make that out of cardboard. But yeah, what you do fits? is start on one side, mm -hmm. trace, 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 trace. Sweet! Trace. Very good job. So I cut this out after I made it a template. Okay. Right over the top. Just bend it like this. And this piece goes over the top like this. I see. Nice. Here's the foot. Foot pattern right here. How do they feel? Feel 
good. The hardest parts were Talk probably a couple of pieces, actually. <laughs> uh, one of those pieces were the shoulders, as the they were connected to the arms ass. that had a moving gear in the elbow, and that was connected to the forearm. For that, I used a Lazy Susan that I found online. The Lazy Susan keeps the arms looking robotic and moving in place. That's a subtle effect, but it really helps it all work. That's one of the only places that we didn't use cardboard, was to use this tiny little gear thing. The absolute hardest part of all, definitely, I would have to say, was the helmet. We left that one to the last minute because it was so hard that I needed all the practice of making the entire suit before I can figure out how to take on the challenge of making the helmet. Because for that, it's like, how do you make a round shape out of flat cardboard? the Lego movie would call a master builder, okay? This guy is a whiz kid with cardboard. I've enjoyed watching him over the years come up with crazier and crazier designs. I can't believe that he turns crappy cardboard into such amazing pieces of artwork. Stairs test. Go the stairs. Let's see. So after you get done making your RoboCop costume out of full cardboard, then we decided to put the textures on. The textures are the element that makes it look so good. The way that we did that was we first took photographs of a toy RoboCop took those photos from a lot of different angles and then I took that into Photoshop and I had to manipulate those to match scans of the pieces of cardboard that we made. So this probably sounds easier than it is, but it actually takes a lot of painting in Photoshop and mapping and stuff like that to get the pieces to match up right. For all the pieces that you have to make, for all the parts, have to figure out how are you going to take flat cardboard and manipulate it into three-dimensional shapes. know how we made this costume like I don't even remember like if we had to start it all over and make it again like I don't even know where we would even begin but that's the thing that I want to leave you with is that like 
we just figured out how to make this shit while we were going. We were like figuring it out as we were building it. We were just really determined and we weren't going to take no for an answer. And like, honestly, that's all you have to do when you start creating something is just, just try making something and just, and the thing is, it's like, you're going to run into problems. You're going to have things that don't work. But the thing is, is like, you don't give up. You just keep going. And, uh, you know, it just, if something doesn't work, well, then you just try something else. That's all you got to do. So I just want to encourage everybody out there to make stuff. I know it's really scary to start making something because you think you need everything to be perfect. And no, you don't. So just make stuff. If you want to make something, you can do it. You can make a RoboCop costume. Okay. You might need some help. A lot of hot glue. And a lot of patience. You can do it. You can do anything. You might need a break for six months. It might make you cry at some points, okay? Like, creation is not easy, okay? It's not supposed to be an easy process. It is a hard process, uh, but it is ultimately a very rewarding process. So I want to encourage everyone out there to become makers. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'd like to encourage everybody to go see the Lego movie. I saw it last night and it was so good. Oh my God, Frozen Who? And... I would also like to invite you to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. I'd like to thank Rival Consoles for letting us use their super rad song, Odyssey, in this video. I was written and performed by Ryan L. West, courtesy of Erase Tapes Music, and if you want to hear more of their sweet, sweet jams, go to the links in the description below. I think that this song was the perfect song for this video because making this RoboCop costume was an odyssey in itself and this song uh, definitely perfectly captured the the beauty and the horror of making a crazy costume